Welcome to the Skype tutorial by the Mary F. English program at Northern Illinois University. Skype is the world's most popular video chat service. It allows you to talk with one person at a time for free, and you can talk with up to 25 people at the same time as long as at least one person is paying for a premium account. Skype will allow you to call mobile or landline phone numbers for a fee and is available in a computer and mobile version on virtually any platform. Also, Skype offers screen sharing, which would allow whoever you're in a chat with to see whatever's going on on your screen, and an instant messenger service. And as I said, this is the world's most popular VOIP with over 350 million users. Okay, to get started, visit Skype.com. And you'll go to the download section and download Skype through the link there. Once you download, install, and start Skype, you're going to need to create an account. Go ahead and supply any information you don't mind sharing with Skype. And most importantly, you're going to have to create a Skype name, which will be your user ID that you will let people know in order to contact you. Once you create an account, you can log into Skype with your name and password. and we're off. So over here is your contact list which shows you everyone who is or is not online at the moment. To add a person to your contact list you'll go to the add a contact button and enter their name or Skype ID or email and this works a lot like a Facebook friend request where you send an invitation to someone and they will either add you or ignore your request. By clicking your name you'll be able to view or edit your profile information and adjust your privacy settings and next to your name is your status indicator which would allow you to let people know whether you're online, away, don't want to be bothered, or you can go invisible which means that your contacts will not be able to see you but you can see your contacts or you can go offline which means that you won't be able to see your contacts and they won't be able to see you. If you've paid for a Skype premium account you can set up call forwarding here which would allow you to receive any calls to your Skype account to your mobile or landline phone number. Clicking the Call Phones button brings up your dial pad, which will allow you to call anyone in the world if you're paying for the right premium package. You can pay for these calls per minute. Otherwise, a package for unlimited calls to the United States and Canada costs $2.99 a month, while a package to make unlimited calls to anywhere in the world costs $21.99 a month. Okay, so the usual way you'll make a call is you'll click the name of a person off your contact list, and if they're currently online, you can initiate a video chat, and whether they're online or not, you can call them on their phone number if you have a Skype premium account and if they've shared their phone number with Skype. Down here is your chat window where you can send text messages back and forth. And if you use the plus sign up above to send a file or send contacts, they will also appear in your chat window here. If you want to have a group chat, just click and drag the contacts you want to add to the conversation and any messages that you type in would be seen by everyone. You could also call, uh, start a video chat with the entire group using the video call button if one of you is paying for a Skype premium account. I do not have a Skype premium account and these guys do not want to be in this video so I'm gonna close this group chat and go back to my friend here. Okay and to demonstrate how the video chat works I will call my friend and hopefully he will answer. Okay, great, it works. So over here, well here is your, uh, your friend's video screen and this is yours. Over here is the show contacts button. You can add other people to a conversation by clicking and dragging them in. You can hide it by clicking again. Down here is the instant message button. Um, if you add files and stuff using this button, like send file or send contacts, they will be added down here. You can turn your video screen off with the camera button and put it back on. You can mute your microphone if you're going to sneeze. And uh, a very handy feature is the the share screens feature which you can click there 
and then start and now my friend here is seeing whatever I do on here so you could demonstrate something on your computer using that. Over here is your connection quality for your microphone, speaker, webcam, computer, and internet and you can make it full screen with this button here and you can also move yourself around if that's handy make yourself smaller okay and that's it so to end the call you click right here and that's all for this tutorial if you'd like to learn about some Skype alternatives check out our Google Hangout, Google Voice, FaceTime, and Uvu videos. Thank you.